This is my first attempt at shooting a YouTube video. This is my everyday carry. Five days a week. Monday through Friday. Bear in mind it's not carried in a jungle or desert setting. Nor do I wear any tactical clothing like a SWAT unit or the FBI HRT. This is carried in civilian attire in the urban office setting. So, something you carry if you're doing bodyguard services, asset protection, or just for self preservation. That being said, let's look at the toys. My philosophy is based on the rule of two. So you carry primary and the secondary. So my primary firearm is a Glock 22. Chambered for 40 Smith & Wesson round. And this holds a 15 round magazine. My backup, the Glock 23. Mid-sized version. Most guys would opt to carry Glock 27, but I'm big enough to carry this Glock 23 on an ankle holster. Same round, 40 Smith & Wesson, 13 round magazine. I also carry two spare 50 round magazines. So I've got about 60 rounds. Right front pocket, Emerson CQC8. Ernest Emerson redefined what uh, a tactical knife should be. Quality knife maker, nothing but the best. Left front pocket, zero tolerance, 301, Ranger Green. This is a collaboration with knife maker Ken Onion and Strider knives. I already got two knives, but lately I've been following my impulses by carrying a third knife. This goes in the right cargo pocket. This is a Kershaw spec bump. It's wicked fast and sharp. Although this is not a product review, what makes this knife unique is it's not a liner lock or a lock back folder close this knife you have to press the thumb stud it's something I've never seen on any other knife design right rear pocket it's my wallet carry a surefire 9p I mean even in the daytime you need the option of having a light source and this can also double as a tactical impact device. Loaded fist, hammer fist, back fist. I made it more lethal by attaching a GGNG sawtooth cap in. So you can rake the eyes, really impact those uh, pressure points, or just tear away at the flesh. Second light source is a new uh, stream light sign wider. It has four different lights white light, red, green, and blue. They have five settings each. And uh, you can use it for map reading, checking for injuries and blood, or just signaling. It also has a strobe setting. You can mount this to your helmet. I, uh, this is a true definition of a tactical impact device. ASP. This is a 21 inch baton. 26 is too long, 16 is too short. This puppy is just right. Go to town with this, you do some major damage. These two items are just options that I carry sometimes. 
Ernest Emerson's LeGriff neck knife. You put a knife in a hand so somebody doesn't know how to use it, and he's dangerous. You put something like this in somebody who does know how to use it, I'll carve you into steaks. This is a new titanium knuckles. Titanium is lighter and stronger than steel or brass. You put this in your back pocket by your wallet, you forget you have it. But I field tested it. This will turn bricks and concrete into chunks and dust. So anyway, this is just to show what a person could carry on him if he has the means and will to. So that's why some of these punks and scumbags and criminals, they better give a second thought because they don't know what that guy can do or what he's carrying. Some guys might think this is excessive, but the old cliche, it's better to have it and not need it, and need it and not have it. Another thing some people might be thinking, oh, this guy can't fight because he's carrying all this. So, I'm doing my job for over 24 years, knowing how to fight, you basically demand it upon you. So, I was an accomplished street fighter before even earning a black belt. Now I'm an assistant instructor in karate, and I still carry this. So when that crackhead or scumbag is looking at somebody and thinking, man, I need my next fix. Oh, the loan sharks is going to send the bone breakers at me if I don't have the next payment. So if they see me as a mark or somebody like me, when I see them, I'm thinking, I take pleasure in gutting you, boy. <laughs>